wonder how high up we are right now. I had no idea that planetology was good. We're really looking forward to this. Though. May the planet guide us all. May the planet. The River of Lights is an important festival here. That flame has been burning since long before I was born. The ceremony will begin after sundown. The River of Lights is a sacred ritual. Not to let me guess. The planet of So the concert at the Royal Coast. It said that these caves were formed from erosion caused by the life stream itself. Ours is the most storied structure. Have you heard about Avalanche's crimes? Hey! May the planet... Hmm? Well, I've seen worse. Better watch how you wield those things now. Just so we're clear, I only sell to customers I deem worthy. for anything unsavory. The home of planetology is the perfect place to ref our great mother's memories with all of us who have been Planetology. Crazy how oh. these caves are the luminance of Materia is the light of the very planet itself. A 30-year-old, I'm gonna become a whole new me. Go on, take a look around. Thanks, hope to see you again soon. I, I can't even, I have no words. Our <laughs> <laughs> Had the mic on mute I was born and before. raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you.
We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, <clears throat> why did we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Alright, now we got some battles. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Maybe they sell. I've been enough. studying planetology for years now, but there's always um, more for me to learn. Its depths are immeasurable. Canyon medicines. That I should put that one on there. That's a two or two for right. Oh yeah, we we'll get that on there.
cars do I need? Place card. I guess it might be good. Hmm. I can't let you pass. I can't find it. You can so confusing. I'm trying to battle that one dude. Don't miss out. Get a Step right up, folks. 
The planet is that windmill. Can you believe it? Goodness, what the fuck? the whole board.
<clears throat> A turn I did not expect. A spring. Wicked Paul hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures below. Many devotees remember, oh great mo- Congratulations! You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. As such, allow me to brief you on another promising player. An advanced Queen's Blood AI named Wise can be found in the Dust Bowl. I suspect it might prove a worthy opponent. Dust Bowl. Gaze to the heavens. Watch as the clouds drift through the sky, going whichever way the wind takes them. May planet out since time immemorial. These sacred lands. Sir, ha <laughs> ha Well, you might be the cute butt. There's old. That's right. To up the ante. Good job, man. You can't play shit. No, she got a replacement card.
got, bro? The fuck? Anyways, I got out of that match with my limbs intact. He made a serious something tells me this better start swimming. Congratulations, though we found the canyon. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Hey, what time to tell me? Is it better to spread the teachings of planetology to others or to focus on deepening our own understanding? I ask you this. Meditation session. I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? Tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of the planet? Just as each of us is a part of the planet, the planet is a part of us. All the time I've spent here, listen. A seminar is in progress.
Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wugenhagen. I, I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> if we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man nor any creature big or small with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this world. That which disrupts the natural order. The other which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. And so I bid you, her children, to join hands and come together. For united, we shall never succumb to fear of celestial calamity. Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though well, I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later.
right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. 
behold the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river, where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And, if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? We observe here. Have to mind your manners in front of follow the
Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Anything to fear. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small with whom we share our home. Alright, so this is where we're gonna end it. And on next episode we will continue on with the uh, whatever cinema cinema. Can you talk right now? Cinema. Cinema. Ah, cinema. Yeah, we'll continue later. Till then, stay safe.